going on guys? Your boy Rick Rock Foodie. I'm here in downtown Bremerton. to check out Action Arrow. They just opened up in uh, May and they're the first gastro pub around here that specializes on high quality food. Let's go check them out. me my son Eric just sat here at Action Arrow actually he's the one that told me about this uh, this spot right here and while looking at the menu this had caught my attention guys check this out Turon. they have Turon on here which is a Filipino dish and also they have lumpia we're ready are you ready I'm ready okay so I would like to order your Action Arrow Chop chop? What is that? Is that a salad, it's a salad, right? yeah. Oh, no, no, no. So my, I can tell you, so my favorite, uh, the halibut tacos are my favorite. The Wagyu burger is one of our most popular items. And then as far as appetizers, the sticky wings and the lobster crab cakes are also really popular. Okay. So the chop chop is really good with the ahi tuna. Okay. If it's, it is a salad, so. All right. So you know what? I'm in a Kahlua pork sandwich kind of. Kinda. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah, let me get the Kahlua pork sandwich. Okay. Sounds good. And Thank you. you. Yeah, I'll do the uh, the vegan burger. The vegan burger. Yeah. All right. And then, did we want any drinks today? Um, water school right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for now. And for you? Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna get a. Uh, I'm gonna try that flamingo dreams IPA. And that's a black currant raspberry nitro uh, blonde ale. On the okay. Yeah. Okay. And here's your beer. Ooh. Wow. There you are. Enjoy. Nice. Yeah. Nice it's color. Different. Yeah. Oh, it's different there. It's got a little bit back. of a. Maroon hue to it. Let me try this. Not bad at all. I actually like that. Very fruity. It's definitely fruity. It's very fruity. It's good. Doesn't have that big of a bite to it as well. I would rather drink that than a uh, Angry Orchards. Absolutely. That's good, guys. So, guys, one thing I can tell you about this place is it's very clean and inviting. Um, right off the bat, when you come in here. You definitely want to have a seat and try them out. See right behind me? Very nice clean bar. There's TVs everywhere as well, so if you want to watch uh, sports, this is the place. Alright, there's that cool pork sandwich. Alright, guys. Alright. Anything else I get for you, Wolf? Oh, we're good right now. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Ah. Alright, so we just got our food right here. Okay? Mm. Got their uh, seasoned French fries right here with uh, salt and pepper. Okay. Mm. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, guys. Mm. This uh, full pork comes in a brioche bun. Look at that, guys. That looks mm. good. It does, doesn't it? That looks good. Eric has a veggie burger right there, showing the inside. With a vegan Gouda cheese. Uh-huh. Veggie patty there, lettuce, tomato. French fries. French fries. Mm. That's where we're about to grow. There you go, look at that. Full pork, guys, with coleslaw on top. First biter. Mmm. Wow. Wow, there's a coleslaw on there? Yeah. And uh, is that caramelized onions too? Caramelized onions on there. Wow. Just a perfect balance on that barbecue. Barbecue pulled pork sauce. And that, uh, guys. How is everything? Good so far. Awesome. Very good, thank you. The fresh coleslaw right there. Mighty crunchy. Textures in there? Mm hmm. But the first big bite of your uh, burger. All right. It was Eric's first big bite of burger right there. Veggie burger, let's go. It's, it has guacamole mm -hmm. in there as well, huh? Guacamole? Another bite, guys. Mmm. Everything that has in it just blends in together very well. Let 
You know me, French fries guy. So I'm gonna try my son's uh, bean burger right here. Has tomatoes, guacamole, lettuce. Yeah. Vegan Gouda. Vegan Gouda cheese, uh, just cheese right here. Guac. Mike. Mm hmm. What do you think? If you're a vegan, if you're a ver uh, vegetarian, try that. It's got smokiness to it, huh? Mm hmm. Wow, that's perfect. This one deserves another big bite. The sweet caramelized onions, the barbecue sauce, the pulled pork, how they mix it all together, and the crunchy freshness of the coleslaw in there. You can't beat it. And then you follow it up with this awesome, awesome french fries. Mm. Wow. The way fries should be too, mm -hmm. right? French fries should never be lumpy when you go like this. It should be firm. Just like this. Axe and Arrow, guys, right across the street from uh, Marriott Hotel on 4th Street, downtown Bremerton. Fairly new, guys. They just opened up in May, so they're not very well known yet, but after this video, they will be. Hey, guys, that was everything. Everything's good, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Um, not at all. Everything's good. Are you the head chef? I am the sous chef, actually. My head chef has the day off. You mind if I... Uh, okay. What's up, guys? What's your name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. He's a sous chef here in uh, Axon uh, Arrow, guys. He just came out here and asked how we're doing. It's a very awesome uh, customer service on top of every thing else that we have. So thank you man, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank, thank you. you. All around. Really good. I gave this place a 10. In my experience guys, so I don't know about your experience when you come here. It's totally up to you. Maybe we have different opinions on everything on anything. But uh you guys gotta try it try to come here and uh, try them out. So guys, I'm gonna refrain from eating the whole plate. I'm getting kinda full, but I still have a little bit of room for that Toron, that Filipino banana lumpia I just ordered. I can't wait to try it. Out of all the places, I didn't expect it to be here. Axe and Arrow. Me neither. Axe and Arrow. Yeah, so. You excited about that? Mm -hmm. Me and Eric excited about that. You know, being a Filipino, we gotta try it out. There's that Toron with the house made blackberry sorbet. And That's then, fancy. Did you want a box for your uh, Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, please. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Gosh, look at that. Nice look plate. That, look at that turon. Okay, so we're used to turon that just has uh, melted brown sugar on top. But this one came a little bit fancy with blueberries and strawberries on top. And it's cut in an uh, angle with chocolate drizzled on top as well. So... Check that out, guys. Mmm. Look like I'll grab one. Finger food, right? Oh yeah. Some sauce on there. Sauce on there. Some some fruit. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Well, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 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 It's a little different than what what we're used to. Because it's very, um, there's a lot of fruit in there, mm -hmm. but it works out. The fruit blends in really well. It does. With bananas. And that sauce. The and sauce that, becomes, The chocolate sauce yeah, as well. Chocolate with the, there's gotta be a berry sauce in there too somewhere, right? Next to it. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Wow. This is a must try, guys. Duron. That's a good take on it. Action arrow style. Never would have expected it in their menu. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. It. Wow. Good crunch too. Oh, one more each, right? Huh. One more each, yeah. And you know what I noticed? What's that in the middle? This berry, this frozen berry oh, wow. is on top as well. In the middle, huh? Yep. Mixed berry, frozen mixed berries as well. 
Mmm. Mm. It's like a sorbet there in the middle. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Wow. A little sorbet in the middle. Okay. This is a one biter. Mmm. I'm just over here munching. It's good. Fried perfectly, right? Mmm. This right here. This mixed berry pureed right here. There's chocolate sauce in there. It's worth a, a bite. Let me get a bite in there. Mm -hmm. Put some sorbet in there. There you Ooh. go. There you go. Mm hmm. Wow. Really good. The berries really work with turon. No, I never mm -hmm. even would have thought to. Never had a turon with berries all over it. Chocolate, drizzle, never. The way we make it is we put brown sugar on top, on the inside, and we wrap it along with the banana, and then we fry it, and as it melts, the brown sugar comes right on top, outside of the, it coats right outside the, the, the wrapper. But this one's totally different, but it works very, very well. You guys gotta try this. All right, guys, he's gonna explain us uh, this stuff that he just gave us right now. So this right here is the blueberry lavender sorbet made with fresh blueberries, lavender, cut with a little bit of lemon juice. All our sorbets are made fresh in-house, and you're not gonna find any of them anywhere else. Wow, you guys hear that? Thank you, man, I appreciate no it. Problem. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. man. All right, thank you. You taste that lavender. Waffle, waffle dipped in that lavender uh, puree. Mm -hmm. Mm. You taste that lavender right off the bat, huh? Wow. Wow. That lavender comes at you right away as soon as you take a bite. But the mix and blend with the waffle is perfect. Thank you very much. How was that one? Oh, it's awesome. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I really like how loud that lavender is at first, mm -hmm. but then it kind of tones down with the yep. berries and lemon. And it's not too strong, it's not too overpowering. But it comes at you right away, but then it, it blends in, it kinks right. down a little bit. I like that. With this waffle, crunchy. Mm. Wow, still for another bite. Mm. Which sorbet did you like better though? The blueberry lavender, or this one was a... Uh... Both. Yeah, they're both good. So guys, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to notify you of new published videos, guys, because Rick Rock Food is not going to stop. He's going to keep going and uh, producing more videos for you guys. Always stay hungry. Always stay blessed. Your boy Rick Rock and little Eric right here. We're out, guys. Deuce.